Hi and welcome to our first international video dev news edition. So big hello from my side to our international audience. As you can hear, it's the first time I'm doing this in English. But as always, the content stays the same. I will give you an overview over new developments at Final Logic and new product features. The first feature I want to introduce today is our new JSON API. The JSON API can be used for a custom integration of Final Logic. So in case you don't want to use our direct integration, which is fully managed on our side or one of our plugins. We always had an XML API, which had the main drawback that it only included the product IDs. So this means all the additional information required for displaying the search results would have to be fetched from your database. So this would be the name of the products, the URL, the product URL, the price, etc. All this information had to be fetched from a separate database, which of course made the implementation um, more costly and would also potentially reduce the performance of the search integration. Just for reference, let me quickly show you how the XML API looks like. I've prepared this here in Postman. So you can see here's the XML response and the search results are here. As you can see, only the product IDs are included. So as I said, all the additional information for displaying the search results would have to be fetched separately from your database or Elastic, whatever you're using. Now with our new JSON API, all this data, all the data that's required to present, to display the products in the search results are included already in the API response. So again, let me show you what this looks like for the JSON API. So this is a uh, JSON API response and as you can see it contains much more information about the products. So of course it still contains the ID for reference but it also includes the product URL, the name, um, order numbers, the price and so on. So all the information that's required to display the products, the search results in your store. We can also include even more product data by adding attributes, the, in this case the output attributes, which will also include the attribute information of this product in the response. You have to select these parameters manually so we can keep the response small. But using the attributes you can also include, for example, I've added two cases, the color and the size. And if I submit it, you can see the response now also includes the colors of the search results and the sizes. In this case, the search results are hoodies. So of course they have a color, they have a clothing size and now these products information are also included in the response. Even more information can be included using the properties. So this will also include the properties um, from the export in the response. In this case, I selected two properties, the brand image and the product image. And again, if I submit them, you can see now also the properties are included in the response. So as I said, it's a brand image and uh, the product image. So that's any data you include in the final logic export as well, which can also be turned in the response. So of course, especially as this is JSON API, this is of course especially interesting if you're having a progressive web app or single page app. Um, so for example, a view storefront, a React storefront, so if you're using JavaScript technologies heavily in your front end, then it is very easy con to consume this JSON API and it's a great match to use it for your dynamic, for your JavaScript front end. An API spec is of course also available. Let me sh give you a quick view here. So the main API point is the index.php and this is an interactive Swagger documentation. If you're familiar with APIs, you know what that means. So you get the documentation where all the request parameters and the response are explained and you can try it out straight from this documentation website. So it's interactive. Um, we will put the link in the description so you can look it up later. We're very excited about this feature, as I said before. So this is especially interesting for JavaScript integrations, but of course also for server-side integrations but JavaScript integrations keep coming up more and more in the e-commerce space. So I'm very excited about this feature and we're just rolling this out. So we're really interested in feedback. 
If you're interested in trying the JSON API, please let us know at support at findalogic.com. If you have any questions, any feedback, we are very happy to hear from you and we'll of course support you if you have any questions. Another big improvement which was requested a lot by our customers is showing the frequencies of the result count for multi-select filters. Previously, it was possible of course to show the different values for these filters, but the users would not be able to see how many results do they get when they click on one of those filters. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, what this looked like previously in the shop or demo shop. You can see on the left side there's a size filter, LMS and so on. And the values just are shown there, but it's not possible for the user to see how many results do they get when they click on one of those filters. This is now possible and you can activate this in the Final Logic filter configuration, which I will show you here. So in this case I want to configure the size filter. And now it is possible to select the show count checkbox. I'll select it and save the configuration. And now if I reload the search result page, you will see that also for the size filter, now it includes the result count in the display. So users are able to see how many results do they get when they click on one of those filter values. So for example, if I click on XS, um, it has a result count of two, so if I click on it, as expected, I now have two results. We did one additional change, how to implement the frequency, the result count for these filters, in that we're only showing the relative count. So if you select more options from this filter, if you select multiple sizes, for example, in this case, um, then the result count shows how many additional results you will get. So in this case, all the filter values have a result count of plus two. So if I select any of them, I will get two additional results. In this case, I will select L. And so before two results, now I have four results. And now you can see the result count is plus zero. This means that all products, all sizes are already included in the selected filters L and XS. So um, for example, M has a result count of plus zero. This means if I select this, I don't get any additional results because all the products with size M are now already included in the four results I'm seeing right now. So if I select this, I have four results now. If I select it, I still have four results. So we're doing this to make it clear to the user why the result count doesn't increase if they select more filters. So in this case, we're showing a plus zero because no additional results will be added to the search results. Again, we're just rolling out this feature. We already have it in a direct integration. It's available in the XML API and it will be added to the JSON API, which I talked about previously, it will be added there very shortly as well. The next topic is our Shopware 6 plugin. I want to give you an update there as well. So we already implemented search and navigation results, which is already fully supported. So we can display search results and navigation results using our plugin and the results from Find the Logic. The current topic we're working on is adding search and navigation filters as well. We're actually very um, close behind on the tails of Shopware, which are also just adding filters to search and navigation pages. Um, so this is the feature we're currently working on. Again, also for Shopware, um, we will hopefully be feature complete with the plugin soon. So we're also looking for beta testers for the Shopware 6 plugin. So if you plan to migrate to Shopware 6 soon, if you already have projects migrating to Shopware 6, please let us know. We will, yeah, we are very much looking for feedback. Um, so just drop us a mail at your account manager or at support at findalogic.com and we would be very interested to hear feedback to see how the plugin works with your data in your settings, how it is compatible with other plugins. So please let us know how we can help out and we're very much looking for your feedback for our Shopware 6 plugin. And the last topic for today is an update on our account. So the new customer backend, which we're working on. A new feature we added is a dashboard where you can see all your site search and merchandising feature KPIs at a glance. Also, let me demonstrate you this. I already logged in here and so this is the dashboard you will get right after you log in and it includes 
different different ways to show the performance so you can see on top there's a chart with the search revenue so you will see the search revenue over the last 30 days how well your site search performs how much revenue it is generating and right below the chart you will see the most important search kpis again for the last 30 days so the total revenue the site search sessions average order value and so on on the right hand side you will see at a glance the most important queries so the top five search queries and the top five search queries without results so again you can see what are your most important search queries what are your most important search queries that are results so you maybe can add synonyms or extend your inventory and um, so on so see this all at a glance and on the lower side of the dashboard you will see an overview of your merchandising features and also how well they perform. So you can see how often your bonus rules, product placements were displayed and how often were they clicked. Again, giving you a good overview of the performance of your merchandising features. See if you need to improve them, if you should add more or if they perform well. All right, that's it from my side for this time. I hope you enjoyed everything. If you have any questions, please let us know and looking forward to seeing you next time.